Good morning, folks. We've got two things to see on the sun right now. The first is a solar flare at the northeastern limb where a sunspot group is cresting into view. We haven't had an M-class flare in a few days. This one is on the limb but could signal more to come as it heads into face Earth. The CME is minor and not Earth-directed. We also had a potential CME event on the south just out ahead of the large plasma filament also turning into face Earth. A smaller filament between dark coronal holes snapped and may have produced a tiny CME. We already have one CME on its way that could deliver potential glancing blow to Earth. Tony Phillips confirms yesterday's analysis of the shock wave. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find that M flare standing out on the X-ray chart. FYI folks, according to our September Planetary Geometry Deeper Look episode, we are dead in between the only two heliocentric geometries of significance this month with Mercury having just aligned with the Sun and Mars and Jupiter replacing the red planet in just two more days. Looking in on the sunspots, we see those disappointing umbras depart to the right while the flare maker comes into view here. Can't wait to analyze that one tomorrow. Also this, with one CME on the way, we're having geomagnetic storm activity already due to the blue phi angle shifts of a sector boundary and a strong stream of solar wind hitting this morning. Magnetic instability persists on and off. Folks, I know it seems like just a few days of lower quakes in between coronal holes here, especially with the Chile tsunami still fresh in mind. But here's the next coronal hole coming into face Earth and set to raise the quakes again this week. Most interesting quake of the last day was barely above average on the Canadian coastline. Article of the day is about Rosetta and Comet 67P. The surface of the comet is changing so fast it defies everything the scientists thought was possible. Featured content today at suspiciousobservers.org is yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall and also that September Planetary Geometry Deeper Look episode we mentioned earlier for the sake of the whole picture. Observing the Frontier is just a few weeks away. Last chances to get tickets, be a sponsor, and get a first-hand look at the frontier of the sciences that have brought nearly a quarter million observers together at this channel. Top weather stories include a low near Baja with potential U.S. effect as it is slated to run right up over Arizona. Hot water in the Gulf of California as well. We've got to pay more attention to the convergence line storms in the U.K. as we have had way too many tornadoes hitting England just the last week. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.